Hello students. So every six months, you're going to have to reset your password. So that means twice a year, you'll have to make a new password and you're not able to use a password that you've used before. So yes, by the time you get all the way through high school, you will have used a lot of passwords. So I suggest writing it down somewhere safe, like in a little password notebook you keep somewhere safe at home. So that way, in case you ever forget it, it's inside. Your teacher can always reset your password, but if they do that, then once again, you'll have to have another new password and another one to remember and another password you can't use again. So when you need a new password, it's gonna pop up a little message saying your password expired, please set a new password. It'll probably look like this. So your old password, that's just your normal password, the one you use to log into your computer to get into your MyCNUSD. So let's say, I don't know, it was like yellow puppy seven. Okay, so let's say that was our old password right there. Then we're gonna have to make a new password and then retype that new password again. So we're gonna have three different places. So the first one is our old password. Then we're gonna need a new password and type that new password again. So you can see the new password has to be at least eight characters. So what that means is eight something, you know, something little letters, numbers, something. So there has to be eight of them in there. So it could be letters or numbers and at least one capital letter. So let's say I write something like red monkey. So if I count that, then let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine letters on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine letters. That would be good, except it says I need at least to have one number in there. So I need to have at least one number in there as well. So maybe I'll put a number in there like six. But then look, it also says I need at least one capital letter. So it could be a capital letter anywhere. And remember, you don't have to be able to remember it all the time. You have to be able to write it down and look at it later. So I could put it anywhere. Maybe I want that D capitalized. And then I'd have red monkey six. So that has at least eight characters because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm up to 10 characters, which is fine. So at least eight characters, at least one number, and at least one capital letter. If it has all those things, it should be good. And then it says, we have to retype that password again. So I would have to retype the same password again, red monkey six, and I'd have to have that in there. So I'd have to have my old password, my new password, type my new password again, and then I would hit that sign in button. If you did everything right, then you'll be fine. You'll have that new password and the new password will be the password you'll be using for the next six months. But if these don't match, like if you accidentally type something wrong on here, it's not going to work. If you accidentally typed your original password wrong, then it's not going to work. So you need to make sure all three are correct and push sign in and it should work. If you have any problems or questions, you could reach out to your teacher and they should be able to help you. See you later. Have a good day.